PixCAD has ways to manipulate 3D solids through uh, slicing them, sectioning them, and finding interferences. The slice command cut 3D solids into two halves. The section command extracts a region like a slice of cheese. The interfere command finds volume common with two sets of solids and extracts them as a single solid. To slice a 3D solid, I'm going to enter in the slice command. It asks me to select entities in the Perl, which means you can slice more than one 3D solid at a time. So I've selected this box, press enter, and now it presents a whole bunch of uh, options for defining the slicing plane. Um, you can use an object, let's say a circle, or um, an axis, or an XY plane. But I find the easiest is to specify three points. And so I'm going to press enter to accept that default. Ask me for the first point, second point, and I'll stretch over here for the third one. And ask which half you'd want to save. And I always use both because if you don't want one, it's easier just to erase the one you don't want later on. So now you can see the faint line there of the slicing action. I'm going to uh, move one away from the other. And uh, so you can see the clearly they look, end up looking like slices of cheddar cheese. Both of them are still 3D solids. The section command operates a lot like the slice command. So it's asking me to select one or more entities, and it's not just any entities, but 3D solids. And then it's got the familiar prompt where I have to specify how the section plane will be defined. This time I've drawn a circle, and I'm going to use it to define the section plane. So I enter an O for object. So then that says I can select a circle. So I select the circle, and you can see the uh, line from the sectioning that has gone on. I'm going to move the section. Which entity? The last one. Move it out over here so you can see it. When I click on it, it is, you can see over in properties that it is a region. And you can then manipulate it like you can any region such as extrude it. And now it's once again a solid. The interfere command is good for finding where uh, one solid uh, uh, intersects with another one, uh, such as in buildings or in uh, mechanical devices. So here I've entered in interfere, and I've got a giant torus there intersecting the box. So it asks for first set of entities, and uh, so you can select one or more of them. In this case, it's one, and then it asks uh, for the second set. And once again, you can choose one or more. Press enter. And then it reports that it found one interference. Now, where is it? You can't see it because it's inside the model. A few ways to see it. One is to, uh, say, go to x-ray mode. And you can sort of make out something in there. Switch back to modeling. And my favorite method is to use the move command and to select the last entity created, so L, and then just move it out of there and you can uh, see what it looks like. Hold down the shift key and uh, move the mouse around with the middle mouse button held down. You can see that what the interference entity looks like. So let's undo that. And then the third way is, is that uh, you notice it was a red color. That's because BricsCAD places it on its own layer named interferences. Select the interferences layer and then freeze layer zero, and now you can see it again. And when you select it, you can see that it's a 3D solid, and then get the mass properties of it.